Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and today is episode 182, and this is going to be a quick one. I actually wanted to make this a while ago, and I completely lost track of it, but luckily Venom Gaming uh, sent me a link, and uh, unfortunately it went in my spam comments for some reason, so I'm sorry Venom Gaming, it took me a while to see it, uh, but I appreciate you sending me the link to this. Uh, this is just a little bit more details of stuff that was shown at CinemaCon that did not make the trailer that we saw for the Venom movie. Uh, so there was, it looks like there was a couple extended scenes that was shown to them, um, there at CinemaCon and one person in particular for Entertainment Weekly wrote about one of those moments and it it actually uh, kind of deals with the healing factor of the suit and the alien suit so I thought I would uh, you know this would be worth talking about since it's movie related uh, and I haven't seen a lot of people cover this outside of Entertainment Weekly so uh, again I don't know how true this is but according to this person who wrote uh, this article which is a uh, uh, Pia Pia Sana Roy uh, wrote this article, and so I'll put a link to it down below so you can check it out for yourself and see if there's any other details that might be in there that you might find interesting. Uh, but for the most part, Pia just talks about the trailer uh, and what they showed, but they sh uh, Pia also mentions one other scene uh, that in particular that it feeds into something we saw in the trailer. So the scene we're talking about is actually something we've seen a little bit of. If you go back and watch my earlier videos, there were people that were recording on their phones in Atlanta uh, some of these sequences uh, that we see in the movie and we saw in the trailer, particularly the motorcycle chase scene, which they filmed some in, in Georgia and Atlanta, and then some in San Francisco out here in California. Uh, but in, in Atlanta is when we saw Jacob Tamori, who is a Tom Hardy stunt double, and him, they were thrown off the motorcycle and they were like laying on the ground, I guess, in a parking lot, and then... Uh, 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 Treese, who is played by Scott Hayes, uh, walks up and, you know, and it's like, you know, he's the head of these guys. He's the one who went into Eddie Brock's apartment. They've been chasing him. And now this is where they capture him. And then he's walking up and, uh, and you see, apparently when Eddie Brock gets thrown off the motorcycle, bangs up against the ground pretty well and breaks his arm and leg. And that actually seems like it's entirely possible because in those early shots we saw, I think just Jared or a couple other people took these photos, um, you saw Tom Hardy laying on the ground in his leg. He kind of was trying to bend his leg a certain way to make it look like uh, you know he landed funny or, or got damaged. So there could be some truth to this, uh, and I and I'm, I'm tend to believe it, actually. Uh, but you guys let me know what you think. So he falls on the ground, breaks some of his bones, and uh, the henchman comes over and is like, you know, what the hell are you? Because he saw him using the tentacles to push the cars away and beat up all of his men inside the apartment. So he's like, you know, what are you? And then that's obviously when he, um, you know, stands up and he transforms into Venom, grabs him by the throat. But it says here that just as the black alien substance starts to flow over Brock, it heals his broken bones. Uh, so you'll hear like bones, I guess, popping back in place or, or there was something visual that showed them that the suit could do this. Uh, so that's very cool to me because that is something that we know the suit can do in the comic books. It can heal. And I guess we're going to get it here. We're going to see him essentially have a healing factor with this thing. Or when it encompasses him, it can heal any wounds that are on the exterior of his body. So that's neat to me. I thought that was worth talking about and I wanted to bring it to you guys since Venom Gaming, I believe, is the one who sent me this link. So thank you. Everyone send a thanks to him in the, in the comments comments. Uh, he was nice enough to gleam through this and find those little bits of details. And I think a couple, one or two other of you have also mentioned this, but Venom was the one who was like, you know, after me about it, like, hey, you should talk about this. It's neat. It's neat. And then he sent me a link and unfortunately got marked as spam. So I'm glad I found it in the spam folder and I, I approved the comment. So it's now it's on that video, uh, Venom Gaming, if you want to go back and look for it. Uh, but thank you uh, for sending me the link so I can go check this out because it's an article from April 24th, it's that long ago, right when the trailer came out, so, uh, or right around the time of the trailer. So, uh, yeah, this was cool. I mean, I'm glad that P.S. shared this with the world and put it up at Entertainment Weekly, so check it out there and let me know what you think of having the healing factor. Are you excited for that? Are you, how many times do you think they'll use it in the movie? And, uh, you know... Well, I don't know, does it does it make you more excited that they're getting more things that are accurate to the character into the suit and its powers? Uh, I know it's not going to have a lot of Spider-Man type stuff because Spider-Man's not in it, but at least they're trying to stay true to the rest of the stuff. But I'm curious to know what you guys think of that, so let me know down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching the show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you all in the future. Peace.